Hi everyone, in this presentation we will look at enterprise architecture in healthcare systems. To begin with, what is enterprise architecture? Enterprise architecture is a way to understand how an organization works. Enterprise architecture's aim is to provide a map of information, technology, assets, and business processes, as well as a series of guiding principles that serve as a catalyst for continuing dialogue about business strategy and how it can be articulated through information technology. Now that we know what an EA is, let's look at the term e-health. E-health, also known as electronic health, is basically a practice that is supported by communication and processes electrically. It is very secure and even cost efficient when it is used in a field like healthcare and because of the use of the latest technology, which provides great results and fulfills the needs of their customers very easily. This e-health architecture model is a roadmap for an e-health architecture model based on the healthcare capacity as defined by the um, ISO TR14369. We now understand what enterprise architecture and e-health are. Um, let's take a look at some of the basic terms that are used in e-health, such as EHR and EMR. EHR, um, electronic health records, and EMR, electronic medical records, help to gather information about patients and their information in a digital format. Another term, CDSS, known as Clinical Decision Support System, helps professionals in healthcare to take important decisions. The final term known as telemedicine uh, is generally a treatment and diagnosis of a patient from a distance. Healthcare has several interventions by utilizing that they gain maximum advantage and can provide the best services to patients. In this slide, several interventions are addressed electronic health, such as using e-health to provide health information to patients and healthcare professionals using telecommunication very easily and efficiently. Another in intervention is that utilizing e-commerce and information technology helps to enhance the services of public health with the help of training and education of workers. And lastly, it provides the best practices of e-business and e-commerce in the system of health management. The use of electronic health comes in handy in several ways, but it is essential to have the proper knowledge about e-health and why it needs to be considered in the healthcare field. The reason why e-health needs to be considered is that in several middle-income and low-income countries, the system of healthcare faces difficulties such as shortage of workforce, weak governance and economic and graphical barriers in order to provide good delivery services to those who actually need it. Another reason is that electronics provides some potential solutions to these challenges by giving creative ideas. Finally, the accounts of middle and low income countries are constantly spreading the use of sub subscriptions of mobile, cellular and internet worldwide so that every individual must have the right to benefit from these services. It also creates a lot of opportunities for technology and it's a very budgeting service that becomes possible with the use of ICT. One of the main reasons that makes he health more preferable is its applications. It has a variety of applications that have become possible due to the use of advanced technology such as information technology and information systems that provide the systems users with a plethora of useful options that make the tasks of working healthcare professionals easier. This system comes with an application that helps to gather the information of the patient and the records of their health in a digital format. As a result, it can be accessed from anywhere with authorized access. The second one is the advanced management and storage facility of the system. Earlier, the data was stored manually, which makes this task more hectic and needs lots of workers. But because of this technology, data is getting stored very easily and quickly. And because of this advanced management style, any data can be retrieved easily. The third application is that with the help of this system, data analysis becomes even easier than even a non-technical -tech person can perform tasks. 
This system comes with certain tools that help to create reports, recognize the issues and trends, and track the progress of a patient's health just by a single click. And fourthly, the most important application is that it improves the quality of data that incorporates data geocoding, standardization, profiling, monitoring, and matching. The use of electronic health brings many advantages and provides benefits to both patients and healthcare. But every technology has its limitations and certain measures that need to be followed. The application of the healthcare system needs proper knowledge to handle, though it has several applications built into it, which make it very usable, but also a little bit complex. During the time of development, the cost part cannot be compromised because it will affect the system and will not be able to reach its best state. One of the most important aspects is the internet because the entire application will run with the help of a proper network connection. So in order to prevent any issues related to connectivity, the internet access by the application must be reduced so that the application can run even at low connectivity and bandwidth. The ecology of the healthcare information system in low and middle middle income countries highlights the widespread dissatisfaction among both users and producers of health information complex and fragmented by disease focused programs and donors an epidemic of indicators and burdensome demands on health personal and poor quality data lack of common standards data inconsistencies and inefficiencies difficult to analyze and synthesize this slide describes the detailed knowledge about the architecture of an enterprise and its types. For any organization, its architecture is very important because it is said to be the technical foundation of a perfect information technology strategy. It is basically a diagram that states the different activities and construction of the associations. The key motive of the architecture of an enterprise is to decide what should be the best solutions that will make the associations fulfill their present and future goals. The architecture of an enterprise has four different kinds of designs, such as business architecture, technology architecture, information and data architecture, and application architecture. On the next slide, we will see the structure of EA. Thank you, Karen. Now, on this slide, we, we come to know exactly an enterprise architecture is, but knowing that is not enough. This slide will present the need for architecture of an enterprise in several ways. Firstly, with the help of design, it helps an individual to have a system thinking view, which will later on combine with the strategy and vision, systems, information, different domains of the technologies, and the architecture of a business to make a successful framework with less issues and greater profit and productivity. Secondly, it provides the idea of how much investment is needed for what part of the business. As a result, cost can be utilized very efficiently. Before the development phase it starts, it provides a blueprint to its stakeholders to confirm and if any changes are required, then proceed accordingly. Thirdly, with the help of architectural design, developers of the system can now estimate their work and time and about the exact requirement. The next slide shows the various business models uh, depicted in this diagram, where the first model business architecture consists of business direction, stakeholders, functions and information. The second model information architecture consists of the data model, information flows and databases. And the third model application architecture consists of applications and their integration. The model information architecture has principles such as identification of a single customer, recognition of customer contacts, points, data accessible across the business, timely information, data reuse, use of single data master, data security, common data, vocabulary definitions and centralized analytical data repositioning. The next slide shows us uh, how we have discussed enterprise architecture and its aspects. But now let's talk about what the architecture of health information system is. The HIS architecture, which is in short for health information system architecture, is able to leverage and align the investment in order to develop better and stronger integrated HIS. 
that will support services of local and policy health management, and finally make the systems of health stronger. It is based on cognizant arrangement of best practices for advancing information in cooperation and fostering partner gatherings to cooperatively expand on regular segments and a typical engineering inside the HIS. It also distinguishes and facilitates interoperability between the frameworks segments. The next few slides, an enterprise shows an enterprise has six key elements, approaches that aid in the analysis and design of successful enterprise architecture. They are architectural governance, which is your oversight board. This individual or group builds up the arrangement and guarantees that the remainder of the group stays on target. This individual guarantees that the objectives set by the group line up with the general objectives of the organization and fit inside the current IT foundation. Architectural framework, the framework of an architectural structure is the establishment of which the following four areas are fabricated. It builds up the extent of venture, like the meaning of done in the agile technique, just as the system and mechanical pieces are important. There are a few structures that function admirably for various organizations and associations. A portion of these courses incorporates TOGAF, TEF and Zekman. Implementation methodology. The system derives the procedure and extension from the structure and diagrams that are required to complete the project. This can change between the inside associations. A few groups may decide to utilize Agile, runs from for their approach, while others will utilize Kanban, Lean, or another technique. Under any way you pick, you should choose this fault right and guarantee everybody is in the same spot. Documentation artifacts. These are your expectations. How might you and your group archive your systems, plans, and work process? If different individuals should chip away at the archive, and approach it at the same time, you should utilize Google Docs or Sheets in the event that just a single individual will make a record. At that point, share it, Excel will work. You may decide to utilize an information based on other online based programming. Architectural repository. Your store holds your devices and cycles for everybody to get to the excellence of the system is that it turns into the design that holds up the remainder of your program. Your apparatuses and cycles do not become part of the system. They are merely used to aid the online. Various groups may decide to use unusual apparatuses in the comparison to others. In any case, they would will be able to follow similar systems to guarantee that everybody closes in the opportune spot which are the objectives and goals set up towards the start. Related best practices. Here, your best procedures are your standard working methodology and are illustrated initially before you start the task. This should be straightforward so everybody in the group realizes what is anticipated from them. These six components will permit you to construct the outline that your group will follow to achieve your goals as the EA you guarantee that your group is building the perfect thing and the perfect opportunity to achieve your business objectives. In this slide, some of the most common widely used frameworks for architecture of the enterprise have been highlighted. TOGAF, the open group architecture framework, is the most utilized structure for big businesses engineering today that gives a way to deal with planning, arranging, actualizing, administering and undertaking data innovation design. DODEF, the Department of Defense Architecture Framework, is a design structure for the United States Department of Defense, DOD, that gives a representation framework to explicit partners, interest through perspective coordinated by different perspectives. Zagman Framework is a venture philosophy and is a major construction for enterprise architecture, which gives formal and organized method of survey and characterizing and undertaking. In summary, the job of an enterprise architecture is to empower the association to be creative and react quickly to changing client conduct. 
the undertaking draftsman holds the draft out business vision of the association and is liable for excursion in its needs to take to arrive at its objective stage. E-health will improve the nature of medical care by making medical service information open and accessible at a point of need, but a variety of ob obstacles may impede its effective use. That's the end of our presentation. Thank you.